Okay. I made a drawing. Now what? Welcome back to another Vanquish Studio video, and before we get started on using a rubric, I want to remind you guys, hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get started. What is a rubric? A rubric is used to evaluate a performance, a product, uh, whatever you, it is that you're working on. So in our case, it's going to be a drawing. More specifically, a drawing of a hand. The, we're going to use the product, which is the drawing, to measure the performance, which is how you drew that drawing and were you successful at it or not. So I need to draw a hand. Because basically what I want to work on and what I want to fix are hands. I'm having trouble with hands, but more specifically like posing in the hands. So that's what I'm going to start with. Just a basic idea of posing the hand. Okay, a rubric is broken up into three parts. There's the criteria. In our case, we have four criteria that we're using for drawing the hand. We've got structure, we've got anatomy, we've got fluidity, and we've got perspective. Four things. We've also got three ratings. One is a page, two is a squire, and three is a knight. How do I use all of this so that I can improve my drawing? by reading the rubric. Okay, so in my hand I have my Vanquish Studio using a rubric to evaluate performance. Now as you can see I have my my picture in the upper corner and as for structure, if I look at this and I look at what the, the indicators are for a one, a two, and a three, if I look at my hand I'll be honest with you I think I, uh, I'm, a, I'm at a two. Now as for the anatomy, here are the indicators for anatomy. Here is the indicators for a page, a squire, and a knight. I'll be honest with you, um, I do think that my hand looks pretty good, except there are the, the ring and the middle finger needs to have a little bit of work on it. So actually, that's my structure was a squire. I need to work up on a knight. I'm going to say my anatomy is also a squire. I need to work on it. As for fluidity, I do think that the hand is posed in a good in a good position. I think I'm already up there at a night, and so I'm okay with that. So I don't think that that's a problem. And as far as perspective, um, the hand is correct, but there's the, there's just the middle finger is a little bit too long, and the ring finger is too short, and the pinky finger is too short. So I do need to work on perspective. So. The good news is, I, I don't have to go too, too far with the page. I do have a squire. I scored a three out of four on the squire and only a one out of four on the knight. So now I know what I need to work on. So the next time I'm drawing my hand, I need to work on the structure, I need to work on my anatomy, and I need to work on my perspective. So it narrows it down a little bit. Now, of course, if I wanted to, I could take this hand, So now that, I've, now that I've looked at my, my rubric, I understand that right here, this is anatomy that I need to work on. This finger right here, this, this joint is a little bit too long. These fingers are a little bit too short as far as perspective. So the next time I draw the hand, I know what to work on and how to fix it. So a rubric is really helpful in deciding what you need to work on and where to go from there and to narrow it down so you're not drawing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so if you look down in the description below, there is a link to the rubric for drawing hands. Which, since I've been doing a couple of videos on drawing hands, I thought we should have a rubric on drawing hands. So anyway, you can download it for free. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, 
Don't forget to like it, share it, tell people about it, and I will see you next Friday.